So a lot of people who have survived being raised by a narcissistic person, or if they were in long-term relationships with narcissistic people, they end up feeling like they have to be perfect, like they have to do everything just right. There can be perfectionism even when it feels like you are self-critical. So in other words, you have to do everything just so, or else you're not okay. So narcissists will groom you to believe things about yourself. They're gaslighting you, they're projecting onto you, and they are devaluing you, which can sort of program the mind, condition the mind of the survivor to have thinking patterns and beliefs about themselves that just simply aren't true, that are above and beyond what any other human being would have expected of them. Your expectations on yourself can be so elevated and so high that it creates an enormous amount of stress and pressure just to function in the world around other people. So here's some things that can happen. You can have exhaustion. You might feel burnout. Do you ever feel like just giving up or just like saying, forget it, I can't do this, I can't be around people? You might not feel any satisfaction for anything that you do, any achievements that you make in life, any achievements that you have. You might actually start to feel really indecisive. There could be procrastination. Do you put things off to the last minute because you're so afraid of doing it wrong or you don't know where to start or anything like that that, that really feels like you get muddled and confused when you're trying to begin something so you just put it off to the last minute. It becomes then hard to prioritize because too many things get into play. And then black and white thinking can set in where it's either right or wrong and there's no gray area in between. There's no room for mistakes. There's no room for trial and error. There's no room to be an actual human being. So for a narcissist, the image is everything. The way the world perceives them and those around them, those in their, in their life, means everything. It is their projection of what they want others to believe about the life that they are, who they are, the people that are in their life, that rules their delusion. Everything is transactional with a narcissist and everything is reward and punishment based. It isn't, they don't freely give without this reward and punishment sort of system set up. So if they are reward, 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 meaning love bomb, love bomb, but love bomb, and then the slightest thing gets in their head or you do something off the script that they have in their mind of what it should be or for whatever reason, sometimes for no reason at all, and the devaluing starts, it creates a whole mess of confusion in your head because you were amazing one second and now you are nothing. They build you up and knock you down. It's part of how they stay in power and how they stay in control of people to feel superior to other people. And remember that if you are a child of a narcissistic parent, that most likely that parent has lived vicariously through you. They have held your achievements up as their own. They have forced you into doing things that they wanted to do or, or how to live a life that they wanted to live. Or maybe not so much that, maybe you are a scapegoat and instead they project all of the things that are wrong with them onto you. And at the same time saying, you should be more than that, you should be better than that, see how bad you are. So the narcissistic parent, because of all their projections, because of all their high expectations for the golden child and their basically low expectations of the scapegoat or the lost child or any other role that you might play, it makes it so you don't live your own authentic life. You're not learning to do things, make mistakes, have experiences that aren't perfect, have experiences where you have to strive and work and learn without the negative influence of that narcissistic parent. They will so much as almost disown you if they don't completely disown you for doing things like deciding to switch a major in college or for not taking a job that you really don't want or for leaving a job that's really making you miserable or decisions that you make in your life basically that are your decisions as an adult, your decisions even as a child are, are met with punishment, with rejection, with lack of validation. You may even have, have a high achievement. Okay, say you graduated college and you did it all yourself, you put yourself through school, they'll just sort of be like, eh, great. 
you know, and then meanwhile, they'll be putting their golden child through school and making you feel like, wow, I did this all myself and I still don't get validation. I still don't get credit for the good things that I do in life. All of that creates a perfectionism in us. It creates us striving to be better, to be better, to be better, just to receive the validation, the love, the acknowledgement. That's never gonna come from a toxic person. It can lead you down the path of being a people pleaser or codependency because you're always trying to, your achievements basically are, are there to um, keep you safe, keep you loved, keep you in the good side or on the good side of anyone who's in your, in your life. It can really, really create a low self-esteem. It can, it can make it so that you don't have even an idea of who you really are. And instead you have thoughts in your head and beliefs in your head that were planted there from this toxic behavior that make you feel like you're less than other people. So what can you do about this? How can you confront it in your own life and change some of these beliefs? In my opinion, it takes a goals perspective shift. It, it's learning to see that your life is not about the lies other people have fed you and that you need to like reflect differently, not through the lens that has been placed on your awareness, right? But through a more honest lens. You can start easily by saying, what would I expect of other people? How do I feel when someone else has an achievement? Why am I not giving myself that same gratification and satisfaction of kindness toward myself? So much of this is about letting go of and shifting the perspective by really seeing that toxic people cannot give. Toxic people cannot create healthy relationships and they do not teach you the modeling for healthy relationships and the relationship with yourself has been skewed and damaged because of their projections onto you so if you can see that and you can start to break down the beliefs that you have in your mind about how you view yourself and how you view your your doings as needing to be perfect or not good and you're not good enough and all of that it's it takes time and it takes a shift in that perspective so that you come to your own true authentic perspective of who you really are and you see that there is not one success on this planet that hasn't been had through many mistakes coming before it right? It takes mistakes to create something, to create anything. Creativity is a constant flow of creation and destruction happening simultaneously sometimes throughout each project, throughout each thing you're doing in life until something is brought forth from it. It's not about I do it once, it's perfect and, and, and there it's done. That doesn't happen most of the time for most people across the board in their life, right? So practicing making mistakes is a tip. Practicing making mistakes, laughing them off, being thankful for them because they're teaching you something new about how to approach something. They are, mistakes are there because you're human and you're trying to learn something or you're trying to achieve something. And that's kind of the nature of, of doing anything. It's not going to be perfect. So practice being graceful and in allowance of the mistakes that you make as long as you are learning and as long as you are continuing to move forward, you will find a way to succeed through it and it will be its own thing. It doesn't need to be, here's the next one, something you expect. Let go of those expectations. Those expectations in your head about what you should be, who you should be, how you should be, are all lies planted there by a toxic person. You, There is no should of who you are. There is only who you are and you can be more and more yourself if you let go of the expectations, if you at least acknowledge that this is my father's or my mother's expectation. Okay, you know, and then try and see the world a little bit differently now, knowing that it's not your true, you don't even really care about the thing sometimes, right? When you have black and white thinking, all or nothing thinking, one way or the other thinking, you are most likely trapped in some sort of judgment. Judgments hold you in place. Judgments do not allow for the flow of life that then creates something better for yourself. 
judgments trap you. It's okay, you know, whatever. So you judge something. That's great. That just means that you know, you can see the path it's taking and it's not where you want to go. Well, stop there and don't put a judgment on top of that. That's like learning to be discerning. And then where you cross the line into judging yourself, stop judging yourself. Think of yourself as you would other people and allow yourself to have the same respect, right? It's really about respecting yourself to learn to stop judging yourself. So really what this comes down to is learning about who you are after being in a toxic relationship or being raised by a toxic people. And don't expect to learn who you are in two seconds, okay? It takes time to learn who anyone is. And it's gonna take you time to have experiences in life to witness yourself and to step outside of judgment of yourself and to catch yourself when you're thinking terrible thoughts about yourself and learning to change those thoughts so you can see what you truly do think and who you really are. But all of that is a way to begin to take steps in your life toward letting go of this perfectionism that holds you trapped in either not achieving or pushing yourself to achieve too much or having harsh judgments of yourself or feeling like you're not good enough, all of it, okay? So if you need any help with anything like that or just any kind of recovery help from toxic relationships, from narcissistic people, let me know. What do you need help with? Let me know in the comments. I'm happy to make videos on topics. Otherwise, you can find information about me or information about coaching in the main description of every video. There's also group coaching available, so check it all out. I will see you guys next time. My name is Lise Colucci. Hit subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.